In this video, I will show you how to use the prototype bind source and the live bind designer. So let's start by creating a Mood device application Delphi. And uh, let's bring to the farm a prototype bind source. The T prototype bind source allows you to create sample data. And this data can be used to prototype your applications, your user interface. And then later, you can replace the prototype bind source to a normal data source or any kind of data you have, like a collection of data of objects. So um, let's start by adding some fields in the T prototype bind source. You can choose here um, among a lot of data type or a lot of generators. So I will pick here uh, the contact bitmap and the contact name and contact, contact title. So right now we have three fields, three data fields or uh, generators inside our prototype bind source. Let's connect this to some visual control. Let's choose here a uh, list view. Let's align the list view to the client and also change the, the property eating appearance. So in the eating appearance, I'm going to choose here image list item bottom detail. This will change the appearance of your list view items. You can choose among some options, predefined options here, or you can create your uh, or define your dynamic appearance. So let's choose in this case the image list item bottom detail and now you have here in the bind visually option a representation of your list view with some properties and also the representation of our prototype bind source with the defined fields um, you can of course add um, any other property to this to the visual live bind editor but for now, let's connect here the contact title to the item detail and the contact name to the item text and the contact bitmap to the item bitmap. So as you can see, in design time, you have your list view showing the data that was generated by our prototype bind source. So after that, you can replace, after you have the approval of your user interface, you can replace the prototype bind source to some real data source, include your application. The prototype bind source works also with your VCL application. So let's create here a new application, a VCL forms application, and the, I will add um, another prototype bind source to the farm. Also, let's add a list box and the uh, shape, that shape. The shape I will align to the right and the, the list box to the client. Okay. And the, in the tip prototype bind source, let's add some fields. In this case, I will use um, color and color names. Right click and you have the bind vision. So let's connect um, the color's name. First, I, I connect the prototype bind source sync to the list box sync field. This will keep the prototype and the list box synchronized so you can connect the same prototype or the same data bind source to another control and they have everything synchronized. In the shape, I'm going to show here the brush color property and uh, let's connect the color names, color name to the item text and the color itself to the brush color. So we have here the name of the colors in the list box and the color itself being displayed in the T-shape control. Let's run the application and the, you can navigate by the colors and you see uh, here in the shape the a sample of the color being displayed. Okay, so that's it for this episode.